Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Hans of Iron 4 with the Kaiser Reich mod that simulates what could have happened if Germany won the First World War. And we're playing as the United States of America. We have prevented a second civil war and are now building up our country. Now I contemplated going with this, a Mexican intervention, but um, this kind of means that we're going to stage a coup. I'm not sure I'll be fine with a coup. I kind of want to annex them. So I think I'm just going to ignore this, at least for now, and just regularly attack them once we're ready. Let's unpause and continue building up our country, because we can start building up stuff finally. The Golden Gate Bridge is complete. Political power increased. Wonderful. Give me stability. National focus completed. The fair deal. What politics will change? Wait a minute. They have the Republican Party, the ruling party, so... Are we? Conservative winning of the Republican Party. I I'm not really sure what's going on, but... Let's click this and see. Oh, does this change our politics? We're now a Republican Party that is a progressive wing of the Republican Party, Social Democrats. Uh, okay. I suppose that's fine. But I would like more support. Still, the fair, fair deal is happening. Uh, I could do this. No, I think I need the federal project. I need this. So let's go with expand ERA. Yeah, that kind of works. Ooh, that will give me free infrastructure in Pennsylvania and upstate New York. I have already filled up infrastructure in upstate New York. Hmm. Okay, I suppose I can stop that then in Pennsylvania, since I'm going to get it for free anyway. I do have more factories, even more factories. Did that mention Maryland as well? I don't have a lot of slots in Maryland. I do have a lot of slots in New Jersey and even more in New York. Let's do New York, I think. Does this give me stuff in New York? Does it give me stuff in New York? No, it doesn't, so I have to build those up myself. Here you go, New York. Might even prioritize that. Actually, no. First, upstate New York, then New York City infrastructure, then Pennsylvania factories, and then New York City factories. I could be doing military factories, I suppose, but for now, let's just do civilian. Right. The second international. Maybe I should be doing military factories. For example, here. Do some of, some of each. The Spanish Civil War. That's a three-way Spanish Civil War. I suppose that's always more interesting than a two-way one. Foundation of the Belgrade Pact. Serbia, Romania and Greece are forming an alliance. And the end of the Civil War in Ethiopia and in Siam. And finally that. Alright, and two more technologies researched. Okay. It's 37. We are doing all of these. This is ahead of time. I could do radio. Radio is useful. Um, oh, I still need a new doctrine. Let's do the new doctrine. And let's do... Should we do radio? All this, even though it's ahead of time. But maybe we should do it just because it gives us the bonus. Hmm. Maybe we should... No. Let's do radio. The Roman question resolved. Commune of France. Oh. 
the Swiss have given up a province to the syndicalists. Oh, haven't you learned anything from... Oh, right. Appeasement never happened in that scenario. Yet. Increase instability. Wonderful. Now, we lost one good modifier, but we're kind of... Oh, right. We're constructing these simultaneously. That's... That makes perfect sense, actually. A New Year strike has expired. Will that help us much? National focus completed. And extra political power for the 4th of July. Oh, it's been a year already. One and a half, actually. Okay, the new focus. So, I want to get to um, Federal Project 1 as quickly as possible. But what is going to help me more? Uh, this, I think. CCC. And then we can do Civil Works Administration. I suppose I could go for the extra research slot. It was somewhere in here. The brain trust. But I need political power, most of all. Yeah. And then we'll have a juggernaut economy. Am I training units still? I am, but let's... Oh, crap, I clicked the wrong button. I didn't want to. Damn it. I wanted to add units, not deploy them. Now I deployed... Unprepared units. Oh, well. Mistakes happen. Uh, we have completed machine tools. I could do input equipment conversion, but it's a, bit, it's a bit early for that. We don't really have much equipment to convert. It's 37. I suppose it would be prudent to... Can I do that yet? Oh, I can do that. I can do motorized rocket... Vehicles before I do rockets? That's weird. No matter. We're not doing that yet anyway. We're doing... What are we doing? This is all 38, so it's too early for that. Uh, this is... Oh, right, we could do logistics in hospitals. Let's do logistics. We will want to add them eventually. Perhaps an anti-tank unit? Probably won't be necessary. Just have regular artillery and rocket artillery, I think. Maybe we should have gone with... No, we won't have regular artillery. We will have uh, motorized rocket artillery and regular artillery as an attachment. And for hard attack, we might add some tanks. No, I'm not an expert on army composition in Hearts of Iron 4. And it should work. Syndicalism spreads. That's a bad thing. And we have bonuses here from the focus. I suppose I do want excavation because the more stuff we have, the more stuff we sell. And the more factories we get. So let's do excavation. Kind of spending our bonus here, but that's fine. And troops are being trained. Well, they're not because I don't have equipment. Uh, no, I do. Create the CCC. And now we can create the Civil Works Administration. That's not really helpful, but it leads to Federal Project 1. And the faster I do Federal Project 1, the faster I can get tons and tons of political power. Now, I kind of want to... Wait a minute... Quentin Roosevelt is giving me political power. I was pretty sure he was taking it away from me. Oh no, right, he's giving me political power, but he's increasing the consumer goods factories. Right, which is why I wanted to get rid of him. I'll consider it. Colorado River Dam is complete. Nevada gains infrastructure and civil factory. And political power, which is the most important part. Radio. After radio, what do I have to research that is not ahead of time? I could do signal companies, but I don't usually use them. I will probably use these four and an artillery attachment. Which might be a mistake, but I kind of like that setup. And I don't have military experience to modify my troops. Okay, the Ottoman Empire attacked Armenia. 
Well, that's going to be rather easy for them, isn't it? Just looking at the size. United Baltic Duchy is having an internal rebellion that makes it not so united. I suppose. I think I should unify all the American continents as a goal, and Mexico will be first. But I don't really want to do a coup. I don't want them as an ally. I want them as a part of my own country. And finally, Federal Project 1. Which is going to be extremely helpful. Could I switch you over to someone better? Can I go to a better economy? I can go to a better economy. That's going to be quite useful, actually. I should probably do that. Alternatively, I could switch you to... Can I switch you to someone better? Is there someone who's unequivocally good? Oh, I cannot replace the head of government. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Well, this guy's bad as well, but... Yeah, oh well. Maybe I'll have to get a guy of in the Intelligence Bureau. Some of those can give you extra political power. Like this guy. We'll think about it once we have accumulated enough political power. We might want to switch our economy, but political power is imperative. So we should focus on that. Increasing our popularity. Stability, maybe. Although increasing stability is very risky, because then an event gives you a minus 500 political power, and you lose all of that. And the political power cap is 400, I think. Armenia was the next. That was completely to be expected. Okay, as I am planning a war against Mexico, let's just move this army over there, shall we? Excavation 2 has been researched. And let's give them an order. You are, yeah, the guy with max planning bonuses. Do that. Is everyone assigned there? Yes. So now, all the new units will also be assigned there. And we'll deploy down here. Maybe not in the mountains, though. Just here. Okay. New thing to research. I suppose... I could do, go with one of these, but there's so much ahead of time that is going to cost me dearly to do that. And I do have the bonus. Uh, I suppose I could go with improved equipment conversion, but I don't really have any equipment to convert. Oh, right, it's 38. So we're going with the computing machine. Because this is worth it. It's giving us a very nice research bonus. And here, I'm gonna do some infantry research. Because we're always going to use infantry, to an extent. You can just go with all tanks. I mean, theoretically you could, but that's not going to be very effective. You couldn't field that many. So, now I have enough points to modify my government. We have average stability. We could modify the economy to partial mob sorry, early mobilization. I could hire an industrial company. Which is good. Yeah, I should do this one. Bethlehem Steel. Civilian, uh, military, um, construction and all industrial research. Alternatively, we could have a guy that gives us extra political power and decryption. But that's not a lot of political power. Although it does add up. Hmm. Virginia Hall. Maybe I should. Maybe I should do that. Yes, extra political power. J. Edgar Hoover. Okay, who can I hire? I can hire her. Henry Strasak. Strasak? Maybe? No, I don't know. Alan Dulles. No. Decryption 1. And she had also decryption one and daily political. You know what? Let's have a woman in the government. Why not? Virginia Hall, head of military intelligence, market liberals. Extra political power gain. 
0.6 per day, which is not much theoretically, but it all adds up and we're about to get some more from Federal Project 1. Okay, from Fred Federal Project 1, we will move on to... Whoa, research time minus 5%, that is for everything. That's pretty good. Alternatively, political power, building slots, more population, electronics, factory output, infrastructure, slots, radar. I'm not going to use the radar. Air bases, kind of pointless. Military factories, useful. Brain trust, uh, extra research slot, good. Good, but that's two focuses, and this is just one, and it's 5% on everything. I think we should do that. We should do the 5% on everything. Alternatively, I could do these, but it doesn't really seem like they're that good. Okay. I'm going to continue. What was this? Reconstructing America. Now we can do that. America is reborn. Yeah, we never had the Civil War, which is great. Let's do Work Project Agency for extra research. National Protection Alliance declared war on the Ma Click. Uh, war in Central America. Oh. United Provinces of America. Which ones are those? Oh, these guys are fighting each other. I suppose I can... I'm gonna do that just because I don't want to lose political power. I would gladly attack either of you. Oh, free civilian factories. That's wonderful. Okay, do we have anything with... Hmm. Let's get some more military factories. Why not? So we do have full infrastructure here. And we also have full infrastructure in New York done. That will do it for now. Elastic defense. Good. Okay, so now we can go with mobile infantry or blitzkrieg. Let's see which one we want. Mobile infantry, motorized infantry recovery rate, max speed, and I'm not going to use mechanized because it's very expensive. Mass motorization and organization, or we can get tanks breakthrough, tanks organization, and blitzkrieg. I mean, blitzkrieg is good. But I think I want to rely on the mobile infantry more. Though they will both actually be quite useful. Yeah, let's do mobile infantry. Hmm. Apparently the Mexicans have fortified themselves against us. But we're constantly building troops. We'll be okay. Add more units. And more political power. I need army experience so that I can modify my unit templates. Add motorized stuff and so on. I will need way more factories. Maybe we can steal them from the Mexicans. In a way, Mexico will pay for our army. And if you include Spartan history, Sparta had no walls. And the army were the walls. So if the army is our wall, then if we conquer Mexico and use their factories to build uh, equipment, then they are, then Mexico is going to pay for our wall. Even though it's made of people. Convoluted, isn't it? But hey. Oh, I bumped the microphone. Sorry about that. All right. It is 38. I could do signal companies, but I'm not going to use them. I could do rocket artillery. No, it's too early. Let's do extra infantry equipment. All right then. Work project agency is done. Now, new thing. What's the new thing? Now, I could go for this, but this, this is taking quite a lot of time to do. Then again, it would be wonderful to have it. Yeah, I think I kind of need to do this. Maybe we should get the extra research slot, then we'll have to 
then we will research everything easily and quickly. And yeah, Moonroad Doctrine, I'm probably not going to use that much. As for the army research, I suppose this could be helpful. Super Firepower Doctrine, Grand Battle Plan or Mobile Plan, Shock and or Mechanized Models, Armor um, Technology, Fight for America, Land Doctrine, and Army Ranger Corps, Recon Company, Reconnaissance, Experience Gain, and this is not that great. And here we can get what? Research bonus for radio and recruitable population factor 5%. This is the only thing worthwhile industry. Uh, industry? Uh, in this focus street, this one is the only worthwhile thing. We're going to do that, but just this one, and later on, when we run out of manpower. So, let's continue. Hmm. Extra civilian factories would be helpful. No, let's go with the extra uh, research slot for now. Oh, also, it is time to end the episode now. Also, my throat hurts a bit from talking too much, so I'm going to take a break. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.